Give me that. Give me that. Get loaded up for. Get loaded up for day five, I believe. Already losing count. <laughs> Getting the packs loaded. Goal today, or the plan today, I'm gonna take the four wheeler up and then my dad and tracker are gonna take, hey, quit it. Are gonna take the truck just in case the cactus is bad or the, uh, they get tired or whatever. I could stay up and shed hunt a little bit more and uh, they could come back to camp or move areas or whatever. So, and get loaded, it's gonna be about a 45, 45 minute ride on the on the old Honda and uh, then we'll get to shed hunting. Not the easiest stuff. These elk go through. Tracker climbed up that like it's nothing but <laughs> there you go. Let's see if I can get up it. All right, just hit the top. Flattens out pretty good. It's uh, got some hills and whatnot as you go, but it's pretty flat up here. Kick my butt getting up, dang knee, but very pretty view. Can't see it quite there, but that's probably a good thing. Then you'll know where I'm at, even though <laughs> not really any sheds up here. But just grab my trail camera that I had set out, my stealth cam this one's a g45 i'm gonna check it it said it had 1400 pictures on it so let's see if we got any anything good any big bulls on it check it right now All right, Tracker and I, Tracker's taking his pee, getting ready to go. Um, pretty happy with the results of that camera. It's been out since December and up till now. We got a couple shed bulls coming down. So that's at least four sets up here of fresh antlers. And then um, a bunch of bulls that came up and didn't come back by the camera. It doesn't mean that, you know, they didn't, uh, come down or up another way but it's just kind of like a main trail that they usually use so I'm assuming they're still up here plus whatever else was already in here and uh, didn't notice any people so not to say there hasn't been people but it's a good sign that we might have some antlers laying up here <clears throat> so fingers crossed going at it day five Time to find some antlers. I'm gonna put the camera down and do some walking. Still no sheds. It's afternoon now. Probably put on eight miles nothing crazy but um kind of have to walk slower because of tracker that cactus really gets to them but i mean look at it you could tell there's elk in here this trail is beat up and there are little rubs everywhere from all the bulls that come in here I'd imagine there's at least 15 bulls hanging out up here. Um, at least. Probably more than that. But, uh, you know what? We don't have anything yet. But, it's been a hell of a time 
watching the little tracker have fun. Aside from the cactus, he he's having fun climbing around on the rocks, jumping all over, running around. But uh, I know we're gonna find something up here. So far, I haven't seen a single person track, which is good because all the other areas we've been to have had people, and we've still found antlers. So there's got to be some some browns hanging out somewhere around here. <laughs> Hallelujah, we have an antler. Oh my gosh, this is how easy it is to walk by them. So I'm walking up to this little meadow up here. All the signs are kind of old, like two weeks old. Um, looked over to my left, camera's really slow at zooming, so bear with me. And right there, see that white? circle and then a brown little brown thing coming off the left of it I thought gosh that's way too white to be anything natural or like a bush put my scope up to it and it's the base to an antler but I mean look that's a 10 foot window between these two sets of trees if I would have looked to my right a little bit more I would have missed it and we wouldn't have an antler so, who knows how long that's been going on. I could have walked by 15 of them, but we got one, that's what matters. Well, was walking to the left side, looked over, tracker ran up right to the right side. There it is, side by side set, boom and boom. Good boy, tracker. You found him before I did. Good boy, good boy. Get that horn, come here. Look at that. I wonder if I got pictures of him, it looks like I Probably do. I'll get some uh, pictures of how they're laying, and then we'll pick them up. Awesome. That's the set. That's the set we've been waiting for, huh, buddy? Brown set. Hopefully, hopefully, Dad's got into them too. But check this out. You can't can't see their tracks anywhere. Maybe this one here. Look how old that looks. Completely washed out. So he probably dropped pretty early. All right. Finally, feels good to finally get my hands on a nice set come here tracker oh, good boy he's a nice one he's pretty heavy kind of goofy how his uh, g2s grow out but <laughs> he's a nice bull heavy we'll have to see if I have the pictures of him way nice that's what we're here for huh buddy give me five shake shake Oh yeah, sweet. For whatever the reason, it's a satisfying feeling to strap antlers on your back. Get them on the XO3500. This pack has been awesome. Never, never hurts your uh, hips or anything. Your back packs. The pack is very light. Holds a lot of gear and uh, condenses down nicely. Loaded it down. Let's go put some more on. Elk sheds, all we could find, uh, but they're brown, so that's good. Got my mad bomber hat on. It's kind of cold out now, so head back to camp, get some food, make a game plan for tomorrow.